How to Build an Acoustical Panel This article is about how to build your own homemade acoustical panel. Acoustical panels are used to dampen noise reflections off the walls in a room. You can place them on walls to enhance your home theater experience, improve the acoustics of a recording studio, or dampen noise in a music listening room. Steps 1. Make a frame with the wood pieces. Depending on what size and what shape you want the panel to be, cut the sides accordingly. For example, if you want to make a rectangle frame, you might cut two pieces of wood to 4 feet, 1.2 meters, and two other pieces of wood to 1 foot, 0.3 m. 2. Use a drill and some wood screws and drill the frame together, one piece at a time. A simple way of setting the wood together is to place the wood on the ground in the shape you want to make. 3. Choose the corner two pieces of wood first, the one-foot piece and the four-foot piece. Stand both of them on their sides so that the long sides are flat on the ground and the short edge is pointing up. 4. Put the edge of the shorter piece on the edge of the longer piece, and place two screws in to connect the pieces together. 5. Do the same process with the last corner, and finally complete the rectangular frame by drilling together the last two corners of the frame. 6. Staple a poly sheet, a plastic cover for insulation, around the finished frame. You are doing this because once you put the insulation inside the frame, you want to really seal the insulation in as well as you can. 7. Cut a piece of insulation so that it fits inside your frame. 8. Place the insulation inside the frame. 9. Cut the fabric so that you can fit the shape of your frame in the middle, leaving about 10 inches. 254 centimeters of space around that outline of the frame. You are leaving this extra length so that when you are stapling it to the frame, you have enough room to really stretch the fabric over the sides and staple them to your frame. You can trim the excess later, if you wish. 10. Center the frame on the cut fabric. Pull the extra 10 inches, 25.4 centimeters, of fabric and over the sides, stapling them to the wood, preferably at the back edge. Work around each side of the frame. 11. Hang this panel on a wall where speakers will be pointing at them to absorb the sound and reflect it in different directions and cut down on echoes. Tips Have someone help you when drilling the pieces of wood together or use clamps. It can be a little bit tricky doing it on your own. When cutting insulation, it's safer to use gloves and a face mask to prevent breathing in the insulation. When stapling the fabric to the frame, stretch the fabric as tight as possible. When hanging the acoustical panel on your wall, make sure you are using strong hooks or enforcing screws with drywall anchors, otherwise after hanging your panels, the screws will rip right out of your wall. Not comfortable using fiberglass insulation? Try foam or shredded paper, instead. Warnings Wear shoes when cutting wood in case a piece of wood falls on your foot or you step on a splintered piece of wood. It is also safe to wear gloves and eyewear. Do not breathe in insulation, wear a face mask. Things Four pieces of 2 by 3 wood, any long, slender wood. I saw Some wall insulation, what you put in your walls underneath drywall. A sheet of fabric. A staple gun.